Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a very simple technique in Adobe InDesign uh, that may help you boost your design um, you know, that you're trying to achieve without necessarily having to go to Photoshop or Illustrator to create the effect. And that is the ability to create a create text and have a photo inside the text. Now again, typically that would be a very easy task to go and do in Photoshop or maybe do it in Lightroom or I'm sorry, Illustrator. But why when you can do it right in InDesign without having to leave the application? So you're in your design, you're kind of you know, looking at this photo here, and you, you type the word violin in a nice big font and a nice big um, text frame here. And this is text, so at this point it acts like text. You can't really use it for anything besides text at this point. But what we can do is very quickly and easily, let's do this. Let's select the photo and let's cut the photo. So, now whether the photo is placed or not, this will still work, but we already placed it, so we'll just go ahead and cut it. Now we select the text frame, um, and all we're going to do is go up to our type menu, and again, make sure it's spelled the way you want, make sure it's the right font, because uh, once you do this, you won't be able to change the type anymore. And we're just going to go ahead and say create outlines. And what that will do is turn the text into a frame. So now this is all vector work that you can do whatever you want to do with. So now, and we can even go in and play with the vectors themselves. So if you wanted to kind of make the text look a little funkier, you could. You can go in and play with the text itself and get it any way you want. So we can kind of maybe design our own little violin logo here while we're at it. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and simply do a edit, paste into, meaning take the photo we just cut and paste it into this what used to be text, which is now a frame. And now, if we go back to our regular selection tool, we get even the grabber hand that we can go ahead, hold down our mouse button a couple seconds, and then we can reposition it in the frame any way we want. Because now that is one big frame. You can even size the photo. So if you want to size the photo down, make it bigger, smaller, whatever it was to get the look you're looking for, uh, which I want more of the violin and more of her hand, uh, maybe a little bit of her chin, there we go. Now, of course, now you're free to design above this and below it or put this anywhere you want because you have this, um, this image in a nice violin custom text frame the way you want. So that's a quick look at how to do a simple design technique right in InDesign without having to leave the program to go do the effect in Photoshop. And if I want to replace the photo, I can just replace the photo right here in InDesign. Take care. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.